Okay, we get a mill block, and we're not going to actually mill this block. It is a uh, one, two, three block. You could come in here and use a feeler gauge, and you can feel when you get to the end mill. That's one of the ways, and you could use the thickness. But you have a problem with that. Even with a carbide end mill, I can start chewing up my feeler gauge. And maybe I didn't have my feeler gauges with me that day. Maybe I forgot I left them in my pocket, you know, and didn't have them to use because they were in my pocket. So, piece of paper. It's one of my favorite ones. I've actually got several different little uh, feeler assemblies. I've got an electronic one. I've got one that is um, a little ball, one that's a little stud end, all kinds of them to find where you're at. The problem with those, um, one of the biggest problems with them is you've got to put it in the spindle, and then you've got to change to get back to your tool, where if we're just using the tool direct and a piece of paper, Paper works real good. Um, of course, you should know what thickness your paper is. But like we can do this here, and somewhere along that helix, it grabbed. Okay, so now I can back off a little bit. And I could get it as accurate as I want, where there's just a little feel right there. Now, there's another way you do this, too, is you do it actively sometimes. Now, when you're doing it actively, if you've done this for many years, you can do it over here and let it suck in the paper and be careful that you're not hanging on to it too hard. I don't recommend that unless you really need to for some reason. And for higher accuracy, it's really slick because if you put it into where the paper is pulling towards you, you can just hold it and it will not move until it jumps around. It will. Sometimes it'll just wad up and, and come back, but it's pushing the paper. The paper will be stout enough to stay there until it bites it and moves it away. Now we know we're five thousandths away from there. Most of your typing paper today is around four thousandths. Um, I just liked this one, it was five. Kind of surprised me that we changed brands a while back. Costco ran out of one and went to something different. I was surprised they were thicker. But anyway, it's five thousandths is what we're using now. And the big thing that I noticed, besides the fact that I know this is a good trick, I use it. Uh, one of my other guys working here, Bert, was mentioning he uses it all the time. I don't know where any of my fancy edge finders are right now. I was going to bring them out and show the other options. That is how seldom I use them anymore. I don't know where they're at. I have them. We didn't throw them away. Haven't used them in years. Paper.